Gemini and welcome to your bonus reading. I hope that you're doing good wherever you are in the world. Thank you for clicking on the video and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope that you can like and subscribe. This is the best way to support me and my work. So let's dive right in, Gemini. Let's see what is the energy supporting you in the present moment. This First card is the general energy of this reading for Gemini. Is there another card wanting to come out? Okay, Gemini, this is going to be your general energy. The Seven of Swords and the Sun card. This is really cool. I always felt like the Seven of Swords was connected to the Sun card in a way since it's the only yellow sword card this is obvious to me what it means right away i know that you're about to get the answers about something you're about to get a lot of clarity when it comes to an uncomfortable situation a situation where you could be in your head a lot right now Janine. um there could have been something that you done to someone or someone made you feel like you done something to them could Roles could be reversed, of course. Um, but with the Seven of Swords, there's a situation where you're telling yourself, if only I could have done things differently. If only I could change the way I did things. If only I could change something about the way I look, the way I do things, whatever it is. You know, with the Seven of Swords, it's thinking that if we change something, externally if we change something things would be so much better and that just isn't the truth so there could have been um something that happened recently to you that feels really heavy uh it is definitely a chapter that ended and i feel like again you're gonna get a lot of clarity and there's gonna be a lot of movement also there could be traveling there could be a uh, new opportunity coming your way. It's going to bring a lot of joy. But what you've been through, it hasn't been easy. Definitely seeing these two cards. So, Set of Swords. It's an invitation. Looking at what you have right now. Trying to not focus on the things that you lost. Things that are staying in the past. And that could also be people. What you have here in the present moment. Something needs to be address something needs to be looked at um and not ignore so i feel like you could, you could be focused on the past or you could be really obsessing over the future i don't know exactly what it is but the present moment is calling you gemini big time so let's see let's see what this reading is all about gemini what wants to come through for gemini Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So, yeah, in the present moment, there's definitely something really important in your life. It could be a soulmate energy. It could be a best friend. It could be you reconnecting with an old friend that you've been missing. Um, it feels like you are looking for answers outside of yourself when at the end of the day, you have the answers. I think that your intuition, your gut feeling is definitely confirming to you that everything that happened to you recently, even if there were a lot of ups and downs, it was supposed to happen that way. I definitely feel like um, if you've been through a separation and it doesn't have to be with a lover, it could be at work, it could be relocating, it could be a friendship, a family member. If there has been kind of this disconnect between you um, and someone or something that you love, it was supposed to happen that way. It will definitely be impacting a lot in your future, especially when it comes to your stability. But with the sun here, I know that, yeah, there's going to be a lot of change. There's going to be for sure clarity answers to your questions, but it's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of movement coming up for you. Um, there is a power, you know, quote unquote power couple energy here that I really like seeing with the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles 
and the two of cups here in the middle, there's something, Gemini, that already exists. And it could be a friendship. It could be um, the attraction that someone has for you. It could be anything. But there's something that already exists that will be getting to the next level. I feel like this could be happening in the month of September, definitely. Um, two of Cups, yes, it is a soulmate energy. Some people say that it's kind of a lesser version of the lover's card, which is your card. But the Two of Cups is always about being able to give ourselves that cup first. So this card comes up when we are changing a lot about our perspective, when we are checking in with ourselves and trying to really validate ourselves and not look for validation in other people. And that's why I feel like you could have gone through something pretty intense. It could be a breakup. It could be a fight. I feel like in the recent past, there's something that was brought to light and it created stress. It created anxiety, maybe frustration, maybe pain also. Things are about to get better. You're not going to be stuck in that stressful energy for, for a long time because you're learning right now to, again, give that cup of love to yourself, which I don't care if it sounds cheesy. The Two of Cups is about you before being about another person. And if that triggers you, there is an answer right here. You know, some people get uh, a little bit triggered or offended, to my surprise, when Tarot speaks about themselves and not speaking about an ex or a lover or, you know, another person. We have to stop giving our power away, Gemini, and, and that not just in Tarot, like in everything we do. So if you came to that reading with high expectation of, I want to know what my ex does. I want to know what this person thinks about me, which um, this is not your vibe at all. In my opinion, I don't see Gemini in that way. Um, there's something here getting your power back from you. So you could have given a lot of time, attention, energy to a person or a situation. And now it's not there anymore. And there's this lost feeling, you know, with the Seven of Swords, I feel like there could be this lost energy, like, okay, but what am I going to do with myself now? I had this purpose, I had this thing, and now I feel like I don't have it anymore. So who am I? What am I going to do? There's like a lot of things coming up, you know, who am I if I'm not this person's partner, if I'm not this person's employee, if I'm not this person's, um, you know, it could also be with your family. But you're rediscovering what makes you so special. You as an inv individual, not you partnering up with someone. Who you are and what you have to offer and what is magical about you. And that's what the Queen of Wands is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Fool and Hierophant. These are probably the two most powerful cards in the whole deck. Um, Hierophant to me will always be the most powerful card. This is the first card in the tarot where you see more than one person. So you have influence. I definitely feel like you have good people around you, but you could definitely be asking yourself right now, who, again, who am I, who I want to be around? Things are going to be changing for you, Gemini. There's going to be a change of scenery. There could be a change when it comes to your work. And with the full infinite possibility. So the things that you've been planning for the future, I think you're going to be positively surprised with how things will evolve. So the fool is the soul of the tarot. There's definitely some type of soul calling. Uh, I feel like it's coming from, again, having lost something in the past. And now a new door is opening. So... When we are still grieving a relationship or still experiencing uh, pain, frustration, anxiety because of something that happened to us, it's hard to see the door that opens for us for the future. But this is what's happening for you. It's not comfortable to go through that. So that's why there's like all the waves of emotion coming through. Um, 
you have some good days, but you have some difficult days also. Like there's a lot of up and down in your energy, but your heart is in the right place. And I feel like what is important right now is that you use your voice. You know, this is the Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. We're talking about the throat chakra, how we communicate our needs. Is there a friend that you could reach out to? Maybe that's something so uncomfortable for you, Gemini, to ask someone like, hey, do you have a moment for me? I need to talk. I need to let go of all of the emotions that have been trapped inside me. I definitely feel like you could be reconnecting with a friend, using your voice in a situation where it feels really good to do so. It feels liberating. Um, you know, the sun energy is a lot about that. How can we be clear with the things we're feeling and not be stuck in our head and our ego all the time? Because the brain, it's going to tell you, you fucked up. You had a good thing going on and you fucked up. You lost that thing. This is what the ego and the brain does because the ego and the brain wants you constantly doing the same thing over and over again. The soul, it wants you to evolve. It wants you to get uncomfortable. It wants you to say yes to yourself and move on. Let the future go. It's not here anymore. So again, I said it right away when the reading starts. Something in the present moment is calling you big time. And I think your brain is like going all direction. Uh, you're a Gemini. <laughs> your brain is always going to go... Um, a thousand miles an hour. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Look at this row, how powerful it is. The Fool, the Hierophant, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is like a perfect storyline for me. So with the Wheel of Fortune, this is probably the most present moment energy that you could ever get. There is a lot happening behind the veil for you. You could definitely be feeling stuck right now, feeling like, okay, what's next for me? What am I going to do? How can I repair the things I've done in the past? How can I get this person back? How can I do this or that? I'm going to be honest, there's nothing you can do. You can only focus on the next step, which is today. What are you going to do after this reading? Are you going to go for a walk? Are you going to drink some water to hydrate yourself? I know it sounds random, but... Every little thing that you do for you right now is really important. You need to take care of yourself times 10. With the Wheel of Fortune is a reminder that even on days where you feel like nothing is happening, even in, in times in our lives when we feel like we're stuck somewhere, the wheel is still turning. Things are still happening for you in your favor. Your spirit guides, your angels, uh, it could be a father figure that passed away early in your life, grandpa, dad, that is supporting you. You've been sending prayers, you've been manifesting, and it's not everyone who connects with prayers. I'm not here to talk about religion, but, you know, manifesting something is a prayer. Um, so there's definitely something important about that. You are being heard. You're, the things you're asking, the things that you're trying to manifest, the clarity you're seeking, it's coming up, Gemini, but it's a slow moving energy. So I definitely want you again to do little things to focus on the present moment. And that's not comfortable. It's not easy. It's something that you have to do a little bit to get used to it. Um, one of the things I love to do personally, and that's, you know, my personal thing, I love to clean my house, do the dishes, gardening, uh, walking barefoot in my backyard, like doing things that make me feel good in the present moment, reading a book, uh, anything that will keep your mind from overthinking and focusing on the shoulda, coulda, woulda, the things that happen in the past that still have a lot of control over you, over your thoughts, your mind, your nervous system. This is a life-changing time for you, Gemini, and that's why the sun, full, higher font, wheel of fortune, everything is here. It's like a lot of major cards are coming through because what happened to you recently 
it was supposed to happen exactly that way. The lessons you're going to be learning from that event are life changing. And in a couple years, when you're going to be looking back, you're going to be so freaking happy that things turned out the way they did. But right now, you need to focus on what is here in front of you right now. Be clear with your wish because you have a wish. You have a wish. It could be finding love, could be finding your soulmate, finding, uh, you know, an opportunity to travel for work. It could be money. It could be anything. Any dream is valid. Um it's coming up, but to get to that wish, you need to go through all the cups, you know? You, know, you need to learn to love yourself, to give that cup to yourself. You need to connect with your spirit guides with the three of cups. You need to learn to say no with the four of cups. You need to go through all the stage of griefs with the five of cups, heal in the six of cups, and so on and so on. So to get to this wish, to get to this life that you really want, you need to definitely ride all the wave, ride all the ups and downs. And that's what you've been doing right now. Look at that, the seven of swords, it came up again. So this is it. This is the situation you're in right now. Your brain, your ego, everything, it's like spinning a thousand miles an hour. I'm seeing like a hamster in a wheel right now. Like, what am I gonna do? What's happening? I need help, I need to talk, I need to do something. Um, there's so many questions. And I feel like one of the most important questions you're asking yourself right now is, why did all of this happen to me? Why did I have to do this that way? Why does the person did that to me? Like, the why of why am I here right now? Why did I go through something uh, so uncomfortable? Why did my life have to change direction completely? Because it was meant to be. Everything is balanced. This is your good karma. So even if you don't see it today, this is a life-changing time for you. It has been coming up in your readings like so much. And right now you are definitely attracting love. And if you're not looking for a romantic partner, that's totally valid and fine also. It's not everyone who wants love. Um, Whatever energy you've been sending in the universe, the prayers, the manifestation, it's coming back to you. You have good karma. And even if you fucked up, you're a human being. Even if you did something wrong, even if, you know, you have a lot of things that you regret doing in the past or in the recent past, I just want you to start and forgive yourself a little bit. Because I don't know why, it's coming up really strongly. There's someone that did something and they feel really bad about it they feel like it's their fault or someone made you feel like it was your fault that this situation changed so much. This is what I'm feeling right now. Woo! Okay, Gemini, I'm not gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take my own personal deck, which is the Hermetic deck. So Gemini, I wanna know, when the door opens, this new beginning, which I'm definitely feeling for you, this change of direction, it feels like your faith changes um, right now in the present moment. I want to know, what is the door that's opening? What is it bringing? I need clarity about that. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is it. This is the new beginning. This is the exchange of energy, a new opportunity. It could be love, work a hobby, anything that is connected to earthy things. So it's not just about money, but I feel like your stability, there's something about that. Again, it could be moving, having the opportunity to travel. With the three of wands, there's definitely you saying yes to something coming up. Again, it could be traveling for work and then you meet someone new. What I know is that you need to say yes. Yes, even if something feels like it's super random, uh, it's time that you dip your toe into a new situation. Again, this is you saying yes to yourself. This is you enjoying the present moment and not overthinking everything that's offered to you. Um, don't let anything external right now mess up this healing journey you're in with the star. You have a dream, Gemini. You guys are dreamers. You guys are dreamers. I feel like all the water sign, you know, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, they get all the dreamer energy, mysterious energy. You guys have 
that's what I love about the Gemini energy. There's this, the sky is the limit with you. And I say it in every reading practically. I truly believe that Gemini are one of the zodiacs that have the most potential to become famous, well known, to go viral. I feel like you guys are stars, <laughs> literally. Uh, it's no surprise that some of the biggest stars on the planet are Gemini. Your mind work in a different way. But that sometimes can be a shitty thing because you overthink and you always try to make everything okay. Uh, but right now, there's something that needs to just be left in the past. Even if it's the recent, recent past, you are on an important healing journey. And you're going to be starting this new journey really soon, a lot sooner than you think. The door is already open and you have the freaking key, okay? So take this how it resonates. We have the Queen of Cups. I just told you, in my opinion, you have this mysterious, powerful energy that the water signs get a lot of uh, credit for. There's something really special about the Geminis, and I feel like you guys don't get enough credit for it. You are the innovator. You are the thinker, the great mind in the tarot. Uh, not in the tarot, but in the zodiac, also in the tarot. You guys are connected to the lover's card, which is realizing that everything beautiful we see in another person, it's a reflection of ourselves. Gemini is the mirror. This is what you are here to do on this planet. And this year, 2022, is a lover's year. Because in tarot, we do it with numerology. So our 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 6 is the lover's card, which is your card. So there's a lot happening for Geminis this year. Learning to love yourself. Learning to find the validation within yourself. And also, you know, connecting with that mirror thing I've been talking about. When you look at someone else that is so talented and has so much success and you're like, oh shit, I wish I could do that. I wish I could be like that. You are just like them. What you have is unique and special. You like this person or the thing that they do because it's a reflection of who you are, of what you already have in you. And the Hierophant as the central energy is just a confirmation of that. You are the influence. The sun is here again. I knew the sun would come up again. This is such an important time in your life and as painful or as fucked up or stressful or again, you know, up and down as it is, I want you to know that everything that happened was supposed to happen for your greater good. It's one thing to say that, you know, it's one thing to read those little quotes and listen to tarot reading, but actually feeling that in your heart is going to be life-changing, Gemini. And I couldn't be happier for you. September is almost here. We are starting today, as I'm speaking, Virgo season, which is such an important season when it comes to work, hobbies, creation, our community, how we can love ourselves to greater serve our community, to best serve sorry, our community after. Um, who is your community? Where is that place that you feel safe, seen, and heard, and loved? Uh, is there an old friend you can reconnect with? Is there a way you can uh, call that person, text that person, um, connect with a group of friends that makes you feel safe and loved? Um, if you haven't seen your family in a while and you get along with them, make that phone call. Go see someone. Go surprise someone that you love. Take a day off if you can find it financially afford it if it's possible for you take a day off uh, treat yourself do the things that nourishes you and makes you feel good because i definitely feel like if you connect with that message of fucking up quote unquote messing up and having someone being mad at you or going through a breakup or an uncomfortable time in any relationship you're putting a lot on your shoulder. You're being really hard on yourself. So I definitely suggest that you practice self-care the best way you can. In that way, you're going to be able to offer the best version of yourself to whatever comes next. Because what comes next is like 
It's a life-changing energy. We have the sun here two times. All the most powerful cards. The star card. The sky is the limit for you, Gemini. For what is possible in the near future. Okay, let's pick some oracle cards for you, Gemini. I hope that... I really hope that you found a message that can support you in that reading because there's something important here. And the readings have been out of this world for the Gemini Collective. Definitely check out the last two readings I did, um, which were one of the most important I've ever did um, for Geminis. We have conclusions are within reach. You're about to get the answers you've been looking for. You're about to release that pain that heavy weight that's been kind of with you for a while. Uh, definitely a lot is happening also when it comes to your spiritual journey, your connection with spirit, your connection with your guides. Um, if you miss someone that passed away, first of all, I just want to say I'm so sorry. And also, how can you make a little bit more space in your heart in the present moment also for communication with that person? Even if you, you think it sounds crazy or stupid or dumb, I don't care. Um, you're definitely supported by your guides. And there's one specific guide that I feel could be a father figure that is really coming through for me um, in that reading. And I get emotional talking about it. Um, I just want to say that you are definitely protected and this person have been hearing your prayers they have been uh supporting you the best way they can we have freya you are worthy you are loved i'm not gonna elaborate on that so this is a confirmation that you've been through a lot and i feel like it, it's definitely connected to love self-love self-worth you've been questioning that a lot um you're asking yourself the good question. Keep on digging. Keep on exploring. And again, focus on what is here in front of you right now. And try to really let go of the past. You could do some ritual, some burning ritual, definitely. Um, just releasing. Releasing. Even if you're holding on to something that you feel is so good for you, is so important for you. I'm not saying it's gone forever. I'm saying that in the present moment... You need to refocus this energy towards yourself in any way you can. This is a card of self-care. This is a card of love, you know. Um, give that cup to yourself. I want that cup to overflow, babe, okay? Please. Um, you did nothing wrong. You are a human. And it's okay to make mistakes. You're learning. You're evolving. And trust me, in a year, you'll be looking back and you'll be thanking your guides for sending you this um, event because there was a specific event I feel I'm connecting with that happened to you. It was actually for you, but give yourself time to really process that. Okay, Gemini, take care of yourself. I'm sending a big hug your way. Um, thank you for just supporting me and being amazing and inspiring me always. Um, Thank you, Gemini. Have a good day.